Now it's a rivalry that's pretty much defined the modern era of football. Cristiano Ronaldo against Lionel Messi. Between them, they've made more than 2,000 career appearances. Both have scored more than 800 goals. But as they head towards the twilight of their careers, Cristiano Ronaldo has announced the rivalry is over. Não, não vejo as coisas assim, não há rivalidade, já, já foi, mas era uma rivalidade, rivalidade boa, uh, que os espectadores gostavam bastante, mas não é quem gosta do Cristiano não tem que odiar o, o, o Messi ou vice-versa, porque são os dois uh, bons, ou muito bons, que mudaram a história do futebol e continuam a mudar, e somos respeitados em todo o mundo, acho que isso é, é o mais importante e, e ele está a fazer o seu caminho, como eu faço o meu, independentemente de jogarmos fora da Europa. Ele tem feito bem, pelo aquilo que eu tenho visto, e eu também tenho feito as coisas bem. E é continuar, o legado continua, mas a rivalidade não... Eu não vejo as coisas assim, porque até, até já disse algumas vezes... Compartimos muitas vezes o palco, 15 anos, e, e acabamos por ser, não digo amigos, porque não, não jantar, nunca jantei com ele, mas somos colegas de profissão, respeitamos mutuamente. Firstly, there's something very Cristiano Ronaldo about him announcing that the rivalry is over. <laughs> we don't need to talk about it anymore because I've said we don't need to. And also, quite convenient, it comes when he's not been up for the Ballon d'Or either. But it's weird because we spend so much of our time comparing the two. It's a great pub debate. But we, I guess we, the other thing that is important is to celebrate both of them because we've all been blessed to watch both of them for 20 years. Oh, it, incredible. It's been uh, something I'll tell my grandkids about when I'm an, in my 80s. I thought Ronaldo would probably keep the rivalry going till he was in his 80s, <laughs> to be totally honest. He'd probably um, still be playing. Yeah. The shape he's in. But, I mean, in terms of international goals, it's not really comparable. Ronaldo's way ahead of Messi. But, actually, Messi's actually only one behind Ronaldo in terms of club goals across their entire career so far. I know now they're obviously you know, taking on a different standard of football. Uh, they've both done so much for the game. I think they've, you know energised the, the entirety of the game because in the early parts of the 2000s maybe there wasn't those standout stars in the same way that these two have been but to have two players that will go down in the history of the game playing at the same time is, is an amazing you know, honour for us to have all enjoyed. Go on then Mark, stun us with some ridiculous numbers. <laughs> I'll tell you what I can do is stun you with something that happened when I was watching Messi for the first time. Uh, I actually fell asleep. Um, <laughs> But I'm blaming the hot sun in Las Palmas and the very comfy seat that I was sat in. Show off. Um, but uh, no, yeah, I genuinely fell asleep during the second half and I'm ashamed to say that live <laughs> on TV. But let's talk about the numbers because that's what you want to know about when you compare these two superstars. And there it is. It's extraordinary, isn't it? It's brilliant to see and it's football at its beautiful best. Ronaldo, 1,179 games compared to Messi's 1,039. Ronaldo with 850 goals compared to 818. The win rate, Messi edges that with 67.9%. The minutes per goal as well, that's something that's edged by Messi. You can see 104 minutes per goal. Major trophies, the envy of most football players. Look at that, 27 to 32. The Ballon d'Ors as well, 5 to 7. Quite simply, they are without question two of the greatest players to play the game. But Doogie and Zach, who is the best? Oh, oh I mean, this, qu this question has been said for years, hasn't it? Um, look, I've always say, stated, that's kind of hinted towards it earlier, Messi for, is the greatest for me because he just did stuff that what, it isn't possible, essentially, whether that was from taking on players, from creative passing to goal scoring, whereas Ronaldo was more of a goal scorer and more of something that I actually think is achievable for the everyday man, right? Few hard work and training. It's achievable and so, for and the so everyday so man. Uh, whereas, <laughs> whereas, whereas, <laughs> whereas Messi's is just not. I don't think it is. I think he's is a natural born talent, for instance, um, whereas Ronaldo's, <laughs> I think, is a lot of hard work. But yeah. Yeah, definitely. I think, I mean, the everyday man aside, I think Messi... <laughs> Messi is the more creative player. I think he's got 114 more assists across his entire career and has probably had a more defining tournament than Ronaldo. I think that World Cup, as I said, scoring in every knockout round as they went on to win the title, scoring a brace in that final. Ronaldo won Euro 2016, but he was injured in the final, of course, and has never scored a knockout goal in a World Cup. So just as it comes down to those minor details between them, I'm angling towards Messi. Is there anything to be said for, for the way that Ronaldo left Manchester United and it being a, a sad end that it all seemed to go so sour. 
Slightly. I mean, slightly. I guess, obviously, especially with kind of the history he had with Manchester United and how well it had gone previously, um, especially when you consider as well that Messi had just kind of won the World Cup too. It, it felt like very much you'd seen where, where it kind of ended between the pair. Um, yeah, I think a lot of United fans were very disappointed. I think even now, a lot of them would still say at times, you know, this squad could even do with him. Um, but I think it kind of showed that he was coming towards the end of his career um, and very much maybe the next step was away from Manchester United. Mm -hmm.